Hello and welcome to this Plexis Ali training. My name is Marina Trevisoli and I will be guiding you through today related to the topic Betting Guides. Our agenda is subdivided into the following topics. Initially, we will understand the purpose of using Betting Guides in the model, besides some examples associated with this use. Later on, We'll take a look on the notes on how to use the betting guides and how to enter the betting guides in a Plexus 3D LE model. We'll finish our presentation with a summary and reference used. The stabilization or destabilization of rock slopes can be influenced by the structural geology. The structural geology controls the rock mass behavior. Some examples of structural geologies are fractures and beddings. These elements can significantly reduce the strength of a rock mass. The most critical case would be in the planes of weakness. And the orientation of these planes can lead them to different failure modes. Especially in the field of large open pits and natural slope, the understanding of rock slope failure mechanisms is highly important. The numerical models are advancing on including the structure geology related to slope stability analysis, as the rock damage is influential on the stability. Plexus 3 DLE is equipped with features for simulating bedding guides, faults, weak surfaces, and wedges. So the bedding guides are actually surfaces used to represent conveniently a series of beddings for a folded rock in 3D slope stability analysis. These bedding guides can be a series of grids or meshes that define two or more non-geometries for the beddings. We can see here on the left side image the potential use of these surfaces as bedding guides and then the inclusion of them in the module volume. If we switch to the YZ view in Plexus 3 DLE, we can see that these purple lines are actually presenting the bedding guides associated with this specific model. Here's an example of a bedding guide. So in this 3D view, we can see two gray surfaces, the top and the bottom surface. Both of them can be represented as bedding guides. And between them, we can see several colored surfaces set in 3D. These colored surfaces are the interpolated beddings between the top and the bottom. If switching to the 2D slice view, we can have an idea of how these beddings will be represented as a folded rock in the model. The beddings influence on a trial slip surface ellipsoid similarly to the use of fully specified wedges or weak surfaces in Plexus 3D LE. The beddings are special in that each ellipsoidal trial will be tested with each individual bedding, one at a time. This means that it is not necessarily to know ahead in time which bedding a slip surface should follow. So the user has plenty of flexibility in adding some beddings of reference and increasing or decreasing the quantity of surfaces interpolated. Because only one bedding is active at a time, it's not possible for a slip surface to follow one bedding in one area and a different bedding in another area. If the user would like to get two surfaces influencing in a combined way the sliding mass, they could proceed with different features as, for example, weak surfaces and faults. Here in the image, we can see the influence of the bedding guide in the model. Where the ellipsoid would cut through and beneath the bedding, instead, it follows the bedding, as we can see in the 2D view and in the 3D view. This allows for parts of the sliding mass to be ellipsoidal shaped, while other parts to follow the bedding shape. Any number of beddings are linearly interpolated between each adjacent pair of guides during the module analysis. So in this case, we, can ha we have the purple line set in the model, and we have defined the 
number of 10 interpolated surfaces between the adjacent pairs. In that sense, we can see that between the two pairs, there will be added 10 additional surfaces. As mentioned, the analysis can be refined by increasing the number of interpolation between the bedding guides. And these bedding guides can be used along with other features available in Plexus 3 DLE. So, for example, in this image, we are using bedding guides along with the use of material volume meshes. But we also have the flexibility of using alongside with faults, weak surfaces, and advanced constitutive models or any other search and calculation method available in Plexus 3 DLE. So how can we enter the bedding guides in Plexus 3 DLE? Basically, we need to enter the bedding guides by pasting the mesh or the grid from Plexus Designer. So in Plexus Designer, we'll open the model that contains the meshes representing the bedding guides. We'll select the ones that we'd like to include in the slope stability analysis available in the tree view of Plexus Designer and then copy them by using two different options, pressing on the keyboard Ctrl C or right clicking the surfaces and selecting copy. When, open, when opening Plexus 3 DLE, user can access the bedding guides dialog on the geometry menu and paste the surfaces by selecting the button paste from Plexus Designer. When including the surface, they will have the same name from Plexus Designer and the additional adjustments can be done later on on visualization and interpolation. Important to note is that the bedding guides must be placed in a sequential order. So the topmost guide must be the first, the top, in the list, and the bottommost guide must be on the bottom. Most guide geometry can simply be a copy of the surfaces that define the boundaries of the anisotropic linear material in the model. We can see here in this example that in the limits of the material layers, we have a bedding guide position respecting the elevations of this limit. Let's take a look on a, an example importing the bedding guides from Plexus Designer to Plexus 3 DLE. So in Plexus Designer, we have these three surfaces that we use as bedding guides. We can check the properties of the surface and notice that they refer to a mesh by having the vertices and indices. We can then select all the three surfaces and copy using the Ctrl C button. After that, in Plexus 3 DLE, we have our model set. This is an entry and exit example. And we can just go under the geometry menu, select the bedding guides dialog, and we'll see the option based from Plexus Designer. The bedding guides will be copied and we can see the description, the number of points related to each of the surfaces. We can change the order of the surface directly in Plexus 3 DLE by moving up or down depending on the correct ordering. We can select the bedding guides and change the display by only seeing the fill and also changing the opacity of the surface. Here is where we can define the number of interpolations if we want and ask for Plexus 3 DLE to show the interpolated beddings as well. By switching to the YZ view, we can actually see the purple lines of the original bedding guides and the interpolated ones adjacent to the pair. By accessing the output results, we can then enable or disable the visualization of the interpolated beddings, change the opacity, everything to make sure that we have a good plot of our model. Here we can see the sliding mass and by selecting the critical sliding mass we can actually define a certain explosion from the top surface and here we see the influence in the shape related to the use of the bedding guide. In the YZ view we can notice that the columns 
the column bottom is influenced by the shape of the interpolated bedding guide. And when enabling the interpolated one, we can actually see the one that is influencing on the sliding mass in this case. So in summary, during this presentation we have understood the goal of using bedding guides in the model and why we need to use them. Also, some examples of bedding guides in Plexus 3D LE were shown. The notes about how to use and how to enter the bedding guides were also covered. Thank you for your attention.